to talk today about how Amy Winehouse's cutting causes and creates a digital narrative. Now, Amy Winehouse, the famous, maybe infamous uh, singer from um, England, has become quite famous not only for her incredibly talented singing and, and beautiful, beautiful um, com compositions that harken back to the girl groups of the 1960s and more. She's also become equally famous for her addictions, for her tattoos, and for her, her, um, her bouffant hairdo, her, her Cleopatra eye, eyeshadow. But more importantly, she's become noticed for the way that she cuts herself and injects. And so you can see the scars and scratches and cuts on her arm and on her legs. Now, this is quite interesting because in this she's pretty much complicit with the paparazzi in creating a narrative, a visual narrative based on images that cause a person to look immediately at the arms to see if there's anything fresh. So that the minute a fresh cut or a new sore or something in her face shows up, that's immediately picked up and snapped up by the paparazzi. And it's exaggeratedly put out there in front of everybody to, to, co to connect to possible stories about what might be going on in her life. So once they see the sign of a new cut, a new cigarette burn, a new um, blemish on her face, that's supposed to be an indication of her state of mind, the, where she might be with her, uh, various addictions, where she might be thinking in terms of, uh, and how she might be thinking in terms of her, her husband, Blake, um, the stories affiliated with how she's performing, if she will be able to go to a concert or not, if she's been booked on some kind of drug charge, you name it. These are all narratives that, in essence, are digital narratives precipitated by the appearance of fresh cuts. So it's, it's, it's quite interesting, and it's most interesting to think that the paparazzi are infinitely in, and ineluctably um, complicit in this. They are creating the narratives in cert a certain sense. They're certainly framing it and guiding the reader in a sort of interpretive act. That, and that that role is necessary in terms of digital narratives. So there you have it. Thank you for listening.